This week we're going to be editing the .bashrc file, a special shell script that gets run every time you launch an interactive bash session. There are a few other special files that are executed each time you start bash. See the reading assignment this week for more details. These files are exactly the same as the shell scripts you have been creating throughout the semester. One of the nice features of these initialization scripts is that any functions you create in the script can be used within any bash session. I'm going to create a new function in .bashrc that is very similar to one of the early shell scripts you created. There shouldn't be anything unfamiliar in the script itself. What's new this week is how it behaves when it's placed in this special file. The .bashrc file, if it exists, resides in your home directory. Files with a dot as the first character are hidden by default, so if you want to see it listed you can pass the dat dash "-a", option to the ls command. My .bashrc file doesn't exist yet, so I'm going to create it by typing gedit .bashrc space ampersand. The ampersand at the end of the line tells bash to launch the gedit program and then move it to the background so that we can use this terminal window for other tasks. I'm going to put a comment line here. And then I will create a function called new script. This function will accept a command line parameter and create a new file with a header block if a file with that name does not already exist. I'm also going to make my script open the newly created file in gedit so I can begin working on it right away. After we create this bash rc file, let's save it and test out our new function. If I try to run it in my existing terminal window, it won't be available right it won't be available. The .bashrc file only gets executed when I open a new window. If I want it to be available in the current window, I can use the source built-in. This executes the script in the current shell, so any functions I define will be immediately available. Once I do that, I can use my new script command to create a new file. see over here I've got a new file name test file um, that is in my current directory. If I run the ls-a command I now see both my .bashrc and my test file that I just created. But what's really interesting about this file is that this function will be available in every terminal window I open from now on. So if I close both these windows to open a new terminal I can now type new script and immediately get to work on another file. <coughs> if I type new script, the file that already exists, it tells me that the file already exists. I've essentially expanded the capability of my shell by defining my own function. As you can imagine, this can be really useful. The .bashrc file is not only used for defining functions. 
many other tasks are useful to have happen every single time that we launch a new terminal window. For instance, setting up environment variables is a common use of the .bash RC file. At any rate, it allows us to expand the capability of our function, set, set the environment up how we like it, and have that run every time that we open a new window. It's something that you'll use throughout your use of Unix and Linux.